Hello and welcome to another episode of The Zog. It's been a funny old week or two since I last put one of these up. It's been busy here, I've been very, very busy. Partly visiting uh, parents and grandparents up in the North East. Partly doing some politics stuff, a lot of uh, local campaigning, work on websites, political things like that. It's been very interesting, but the other thing is, I've been trying to get back into music. I stopped practicing every day, which is a bad thing. If you want to get anywhere with playing musical instruments, you've really got to practice every day. And I stopped because I got ear infections in the heart. But I've been trying to get back into it. And I've learned that I can play a little bit. And I was talking to my friend John. Hi John, if you're watching. Who was practicing very well on his uh, saxophone. And had learned all kinds. So I thought, I want to do that again. I want to get back into it. So I challenged myself to learn the opening part of The Entertainer. Which is one of my favourite pieces of music to try and play. So I tried that. And here's how I got on. <laughs> It's difficult because I'm filming something that I've been playing since Saturday and it's not brilliant. I don't know whether the violin's in tune because I can't actually hear whether it's in tune or not, but I'm trying my best and let's just hope it was alright. Anyway, now that I've done that and I've thoroughly embarrassed myself, I'm going to play something that I know a little bit better. So hopefully I'll get through this in one go. As you can probably see, it's not brilliant. I can't actually tell whether the violin's in tune or not. Um, my ear infections that I've had over the last six months now, they keep coming and going and it's slowly destroying my hearing. I actually know that I speak a bit different to how I used to speak because people can't always understand what I'm saying anymore. And it is kind of a dullness in my head now, which is not the best thing ever. So. It's making learning the instrument more difficult than it should be, but at the same time, I'm still enjoying it, and I like to play, and I, even though I can't hear it properly now, I can still feel it when I'm playing, so I enjoy it, and I'm hoping to get a little bit better as time goes on. Practice makes perfect, after all. Yeah, what's the other thing that's been going on? It's been an odd week or two. I've done an awful lot of campaign work. The All the doom and gloom we've got in the news about how you keep a sign in the polls, I'm not seeing any of that when we go out on the streets. Maybe people aren't willing to admit that they're going to vote for them and then they are going to vote. That wouldn't be surprise me because when you're face to face with someone, it's not as easy to say what you want to say as it may be in other situations. So we'll wait and see. But I'm going to hope that we can still get some decent people in and let's see how it goes from there. Anyway, I've gone off on a political rant and I wasn't really wanting to do that. What instead I was wanting to talk about is this April Fool's thing and the fact that People have been, on April Fool's Day, saying that they're going to change gender and that they want to be called X, Y and Z from now on. And everyone's doing it as a joke. It's not a joke. This has actually created a day where people who are transgender who actually want to change gender can't announce it on that day because people think they're a joke. Apparently trans people are funny. We're the butt of jokes now. And it's really, really funny to say, oh, I'm changing gender. I'm going to be called Brittany from now on. And things like that. No, don't do that. Don't try and make a joke about one of the hardest things a person can ever have to do. It's not right, it's not funny, it's certainly not clever. It makes the world harder for a bunch of people that you've already made the world pretty damn hard for. So don't do that, it's just ridiculous. And that's all I want to say on that. It's ridiculous 
don't do it. It makes things harder for everyone else. You don't want to hurt people. I'm sure you don't want to hurt people. And if you do, you're a horrible person and you shouldn't be watching these videos. And that's all I want to say on that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you did like the bit of music that I played for you. And if you didn't, well, at least it's over with now. But anyway, let's leave it there. Thanks for watching. I hope you did like this. And if you did, remember to click the like button. Share it with your friends so they can see a bit of music and a few uh, political things as well. And do subscribe for future videos because there will be more in the future. But until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching The Zog. And I'll see you here again next week.